hello and welcome to another video and in today's video we will look at how to use built-in functions of golang with slices and uh, let's get started and in here you can see that uh, i have shown you how to create uh, slices in different ways in the last video so today we will look at the built-in functions in golang which we can use for operations doing operation with slices so the first one is make function so to create a slice we can use a make function and it takes two or three arguments so let me clear this uh, earlier code let's name our slice as s and let me remove this and we'll call make function inside make make function the first argument is the slice so we'll have our open close square brackets then we'll have our data type that is integer because we are creating integer slice comma we have to give the length of the slice so for for in our case we'll use three and then let's just print this slice so we can see our slice is printed as uh, length of three and it has three zeros let's see the length of the slice so for that we have a built-in function called len we'll call len function and it will take the slice as an argument and we'll copy this line and we'll paste it here and we'll use another variable that is capacity so this is a function actually and we can type it as cap and what this will do it will tell the capacity of the underlying array of our slice so i'll explain you afterwards what these are and how it differs from length so right now it is uh, the length of the array length of the slice is three because it contains three uh, zeros or three elements and the capacity is the underlying array and in our case right now it is the same as the length but it need not be capacity can be more than the length of the slice So while creating the slices in the make function, it can take a third argument as I told you earlier, the third argument is the capacity. So we can create a slice with three elements, but the underlying array which uh, from which the slice is removed, that can be of a bigger number. So for this one, we can give 100. So this slice will have an underlying array of uh, size 100. So capacity is the total number of elements the array might have that is underlying array. But we are only creating a slice of three elements here. It's like taking a slice of a big cake and this is very useful because unlike array where we have fixed size, the slices don't need to have fixed size. We can add and remove elements from them. So now if you run this, it will show capacity as 100 and the length is 3. So let me just remove this make function and we'll just create an empty slice in normal way that is literal way. So we have open close square bracket and we'll use int and we'll open and close the curly braces. So this will create our empty slice. If you go ahead and print this you can see earlier in make function we had given the length as 3 and it was showing us 3 zeros but right now we have created an empty slice so it doesn't have any value so length is 0 and capacity is also 0 so what if we want to add a value to this so adding a value to the slice we can use a built-in function called append so what it will do it will add the value which we desire to the slice so let me show you that so below this what we can do we'll call the slice s equal to we'll call the append function and inside the append function we'll give first argument as our slice which we have and then the value we want to add so we want to add one and then what we can do we can just print the slice and uh, the length and capacity of the slice so if you go ahead and print this you can see the earlier was length was 0, capacity was 0, but now we have added 1, so it is showing it here. 
and length and capacity is 1. What if you want to add more values? So suppose if we had more values like 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see that uh, now the length of the slice is 5 because it contains 5 elements but the capacity as you can see it is 6. So what is happening here is in the beginning the capacity was 0 that is the capacity of the underlying array not the slice. This is done by the Go compiler it find out how much size or uh, how much memory should be allocated to the particular underlying array to store that particular slice. So in our case it was 1 in the beginning then we added more elements the length of the slice became 5 and the earlier it was 1 so it need to create a new slice of 5 elements so it added plus 5 so 1 plus 5 became 6 so capacity became 6 so every time it creates a new slice so the underlying array is copied and a new slice is created so this is very memory intensive and it it can give you a performance hit when you are working with large num large size arrays and slices. So to overcome this, what we can do, we can give the capacity of underlying array before only. So for giving that only, I had shown you the make function. The make function has the third argument as uh, the length of the cap uh, capacity. So we can give that capacity number there to avoid this. Otherwise, the Go compiler will automatically create new copies of uh, arrays uh, the underlying arrays and it will be become very cumbersome afterwards so what if we create this using a make function and we can give int then we can give we have to have elements size as y and then we can create capacity as 100 so if we do this there will be no problem and you can see in the beginning it was empty slice which contains five zeros then we added one the length became six then we added one two three four five then the length became 10 and the capacity is 100 so this is how you overcome extra memory operations which are done if you are not using the make function so if you want to add two or three slices that is a concatenation you can do like this so let me clear this out instead of giving like this what you can do here we can pass a slice of int and in that we can pass two three four five and if you run this you'll get an error because append function can only take the integer values and not a slice value so what we can do we can use a spreader operator that is used in javascript so same thing we can use in go also so for the what we need to do when the slice will end that is the curly braces we can give three dots so what this will do this will dereference or decompress the slices into the integer values and it's called a spread of operation in javascript so if you go ahead and print this you can see it is adding 2 3 4 5 to the already created slice so this is very helpful if you are working with concatenation and it will avoid the errors so now let's look at the stack operations using stack operation what we can do we can push elements on the slice and we can pop elements from the stack so append function allows for pushing elements on the slices now how to pop elements so for that we will look at shift operation in which we will remove element from either side of the slice so let me give a quick example we will just remove this code and we will create an empty slice in that we will pass 5 values and if you want to remove the first element what we can do we can create one more slice named r and it will have values from the beginning so we will start the index from 1 till all the elements so it will remove the 0th index element that is 1 so we want to have the slice of yes 
and if you go ahead and run this we can see one is removed and only two three four five are present in the new slice it is r so what if you want so this was for pop element from beginning if you want to pop element from end what we can do is we can just take all the elements from the beginning and we'll call length function so it will get the number of elements in the slice and we'll just minus it by one and if you do this you can see the last element is removed in the new slice so this is okay but what if you want to remove element from the middle of this uh, slice that is three so for that you will need to use concatenation so what we can do we can call append function so append function will take two arguments so first argument will give the slice that is first slice so it will start from the beginning and it will go till second index and then we'll have the slice from the third index till the last index so what we can do for this after we can put let's just run and see um, I'll copy this and I'll see paste it here if you go ahead and run we got an error that is we didn't use sped up operation so you have to give three dots here and just run it again and here you can see first array was one two three the slice was one two three four five then the slice we removed a middle element so it became one two four five and then in the end we printed the slice again so here you can see now the original slice has changed because I have, I have already told you in the beginning of this uh, video that uh, the slices are reference type so whatever changes you do to the later slice will reflect in the base slice so here s yes, was our base slice so we changed the r slice so it went ahead and changed the base slice that was s so here you can see we removed the third element so in the original in slice also that is s the third element is replaced by four and the fifth um, the fourth element is also replaced by five and last element is as normal as five so we, we have to keep in mind that when we are working with slices this thing can happen so we have to be beware of all those things when we are working with slices this is not like array in which it creates new copy of the array when you are changing the array elements but in slices whatever you change it will reflect in the original slice so that's all guys so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video